Hi again, and welcome to another episode of Pinasimpleng Investments para sa ating OFW, so, or PISO for short. So again, I'm Vanessa Galvez. I'm an MBA graduate from the University of the Philippines, Diliman. I'm also a registered financial consultant and part of the OFW desk of First Metro Securities. So this time, we will be talking about blue chip stocks. So how do we become part owner of big corporations? Pwede ba yon? Obviously, it is. So that's basically what stock investing is about. Now, um, just to highlight what we've learned so far, um, we talked about before that investments have a risk-return relationship. So the high-risk, high-return investments are meant for long-term. Kasama dyan yung mga stocks. Like what we said earlier, it would be best for you to start with low-risk investments first, then go up the risk ladder. So if you are uh, building your emergency fund, you have to put them in a money market fund. Kasi yung money market, stable siya, hindi nagna-negative, almost hindi siya nagna-negative kasi invested lang yan sa mga time deposits and short-term na treasury bills. So very safe investment yan. Now, if you are willing to go a high, higher risk up, so you can invest in mutual funds like bond, balance, or equity funds. Um, it's a higher risk investment uh, kasi uh, involved siya sa uh, bonds. So bonds, it's like a uh, utang na babayaran ka as investor, babayaran ka ng interest. So, medyo uh, ang kagandahan niya, if you invest in mutual funds, there is a professional fund manager doing the investing for you. So, all you have to do is choose the right investment that fits your risk profile. Now, higher than that would be investing in direct stocks. So, that's what we're going to talk about uh, for this episode. So again, ano ba yung stocks? Stocks is uh, really meant for long term. So if this is money that you wouldn't need for the next five or more so years, you can buy stocks now. So buying stocks means being part owner of a big company. Kumbaga, pera mo, kapal mo, pero iba ang nagtrabaho. Diba? Namuhunan ka. So parang yung mga owners ng mga kumpanya, Sila ang boss, uh, pero hindi sila yung, usually, hindi sila yung pumapasok araw-araw sa opisina at nagtatrabaho, hindi tulad nating mga empleyado. Pero lahat ng kita ng kumpanya, may share sila. So same thing, you can also be a part owner of a big company by buying that company's stock. Now, um, bakit ba usually tinatawag na blue chip? So in poker, sa mga naglalaro dyan ng poker or familiar with poker, the blue chip, the blue chip uh, chips, the blue chips, usually uh, they have the highest value. So in this example, $1, $5, $25, 100 the blue chips, uh, they're worth $500 each. Kaya ibig sabihin, in, when you say blue chip stocks, sila yung biggest companies, well-established, um, long-standing, they have the longest or solid track record, uh, and usually they are the industry leaders. So kumbaga, if you're talking about properties, um, this is the Ayala land of the property. So alam mo kagad kung sino yung sika at sino yung pinakamalaki dun sa particular sector na yon. Now, I want to highlight also na maybe because of this term also, blue chip stocks, people relate stock investing with gambling. But I want to take out that notion from you. Stock market, investing in the stock market is not gambling. It's really investing. Um, kasi lagi ko naririnig, susugal ako sa stocks. So that's really a no-no. Why? Because in gambling, you don't, you don't have control over it. Let's say you throw a dice, di mo alam kung anong number lalabas yan. But in stock investing, you can study the stocks, you can choose your stocks, and you can actually minimize your risk. And part of the minimizing risk strategy is investing in blue chip names. Kasi nga, these are the biggest and most stable companies. So again, please, if you still have that notion that stock investing is gambling, erase, erase, erase. So what's important is that you invest in good 
stocks. So specifically, uh, like what this topic is about, it's blue chip stocks. Now, I want to give you some reasons why invest in blue chip stocks. So just a disclaimer, I am not a trader. I am a conservative stock investor. So I don't buy and sell usually. I only sell when I need the money. So I buy stocks now um, for my uh, future objectives. So basically now um, uh, I'm building my retirement nest egg. So because I'm almost 40 years old, so I only have about 15 to 20 more years of uh, work life. So I want to build my retirement funds as early as now. Para by the time I retire, aabutin ako ng 20 years. Aabot siya ng 20 years, okay? So again, I'm a conservative stock investor. I don't trade. So what I'm going to share with you, um, if you are like me, so conservative long-term investor, stock investor. So number one, why do I like blue chip stocks? Because it's monitored by the Philippine Stock Exchange or the PSE. Um, here in the Philippines, our general description of blue chip stocks are only those part of the index. Ano ba tong index? These are just the 30 companies, top 30 companies in the Philippines. So for you to be part of that index, you have to meet a very strict criteria. And every six months, uh, every twice a year, we evaluate to ng stock exchange. So if you don't meet that criteria, tatanggalin ka. Marami nang nagkaganyan, like Petron, for example, it used to be part of the index, but because of its bad performance, tinanggal siya sa index. So, um, kaya dito sa Philippines, it's easier for you to distinguish what are blue chip stocks. Just look at the top 30 companies that are part of the PSEI or the index. Now, tung index na to, same index, it represents the Philippine economy. Kaya nga inaalagaan siya ng gusto ng PSE. Kasi when you, let's say, I'm an American investor and I would buy Philippine stocks in the New York Stock Exchange, I wouldn't know what a Boitis is. I wouldn't know what Robinsons is, di ba? So I would just look at the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. So siya na yung representative ng Philippines. Isang basket na siya. Kaya nga, sila rin ang recipients ng foreign, uh, foreign money. Tingnan natin hot money, di ba? Kapag may pumapasok na pera, usually ang tumataas na price would be the index stocks kasi sila lang yung binibili ng mga foreigners. So that's why I like to focus my investments in uh, PSEI name. So ine-evaluate siya ng stock exchange so alam ko na stable and secured, relatively secured tong mga kumpanya na to. Now, again, the PSE in itself, the stock market, is composed of more than 250 companies, listed companies. But only 30 of those rep are represented in the index. So it's a collective name for the 30 blue chip stocks in the country. So these are these names. So Pure Gold, the MCI, Alliance Global, Globe, Meralco. So as you can see, these are names na familiar sa atin, more or less. Ito yung mga names na kilala natin, ginagamit natin, binibili natin. So, um, alam natin na stable yung business nila. Okay? Now, another reason why I like uh, blue chip stocks is they generally pay dividends. Last episode, uh, we discussed what dividends are. So, we said that dividends are regular income paid to stockholders out of the company's profits. So habang lumalago yung kumpanya, um, nagbibigay sila ng profit sharing. So yun yung dividendo. Ang kagandahan ng mga blue chip names, kasi nga ang lalaki nila, usually their net income are in billions. So they have more to share with the stockholders. And since they, have, they are already well established, they need less cash for expansion. Unlike let's say a growing company, maliit na kumpanya. Kunwari, o oh, kunwari lang, sinaw. Uh, ay, wag, wag, wag sinaw. <laughs> Something else. So let's say a, a small, yung Ditto Telecom. So let's say Ditto Telecoms. So they're now the um, third player. So you know na itong 
company na to, kailangan niya ng money to expand its business. So, most probably, magagamit ng gusto yung kanyang cash. So, baka there would be less amount of money that it can give out in dividends. So, contrary to big names like Meralco, si Meralco, established na yung mga poste niya, established na yung mga lines niya. So, hindi na niya kailangan masyado mag-invest in infrastructure. So, it has more money to share with its investors. Okay? So, um, in the past five years, some of the three, uh, some of the top dividend-paying stocks are blue-chip names. So, for the last five years, Semirara gave out 7.57% per annum okay, in the last five years. So, ibig sabihin nito, if you were invested in Semirara in 20, since 2015, yung pera mo without selling the stock, pumikita ka ng more or less 7.6% 7. Uh, 7 per annum. Okay? pumapasok yung amount na, yung money na yon automatic sa inyong stock trading account. For PLDT, it's 5.73 per annum. For Globe, it's 4.53 per annum. So, not bad. So, above inflation rate pa rin siya. So, if your intention is really to um, sumabay sa inflation rate, then the dividends can well meet that requirement. Without you, by um, selling that stock, di ba? Now, another reason um, for investing in blue chip names is that it can be sold anytime. So, in finance terms, you might hear it quite often, liquid siya. So, liquid stocks. When you say liquid, pwede mo siyang ibenta anytime. Uh, meron din mga illiquid stocks, meaning walang buyers sa market, walang gustong bumili. Kaya minsan, kahit gustong kailangan mo yung pera, hindi mo siya mabenta. That will not happen, most unlike, unlikely to happen in blue chip names. Kasi nga, nasa sila yung top 30 stocks na most traded sa stock market. So, laging may buyers and laging may sellers. And you can get your money anytime when you need it. Just remember that since uh, it's dependent on the market value, there is a chance that you get your money either higher, that's good, or lower than your principal amount. But the point here is you can sell it anytime as, uh, um, for blue chip names. Uh, another reason um, why, why you should invest in blue chip names is that they are relatively stable and secure. Um, narinig nyo na siguro yung term na penny stocks or yung mga dito sa Philippines tawag basura stocks. Um, Kung baga, ang mga penny stocks or mga basura stocks, sila yung sports car. They're exciting. Kaya lang, they're high maintenance and they're risky. Why? Kasi it is true that pag nag-invest ka sa, pag nagbumili ka ng basura stocks, pwede mong madoble yung pera mo in even two weeks or less, di ba? Pwede yun, especially kung may hype sa market. But it's very risky also kasi yung chances mo na tumaas siya bigla, pwede rin siyang bumaba ng bigla. So, siguro you've heard of the 2018 scenario with now corporation, di ba? There were there was a lot of, uh, there were a lot of bus na sila yung magiging third telco player. So from I think two pesos nag jump siya to sixteen pesos nag twenty pa ata. So imagine that if you were that investor na from two pesos nag times ten yung investment mo, ba? Kung one million ka. 10 million kagad yung pera mo. So, ganun siya ka-exciting. But after a while, nung nawala yung hype, bumag bumagsak rin siya. Ngayon, it's uh, around that uh, price again, nasa around 2 pesos ata siya. So, it can be, it can give you high returns, it can also give you uh, very low returns. Depende sa galaw ng market. So, it's risky, it's high maintenance, you have to monitor it. Blue chips, on the other hand, uh, are your good old Toyota Vios. Okay? So they're quite boring, no frills, but they're low maintenance. Alam mo na it can get you to your destination. Um, hindi siya ganun ka-risky, hindi ganun kataas ang pwede mong kitain, pero hindi rin siya bumababa ng gusto when the markets are down. So it's relatively secure. So you don't get the same excitement 
in penny stocks, but you are ano, you can sleep soundly at night knowing that your investment is secure. So, pag basura stocks, they're your sports cars, pero pag blue chips, it's your good old Toyota. Diba? So, that's the, sim the most simple analogy that I can think of. Now, um, look, um, talking about stability, security, let's look at Ayala Corporation. Ayala Corporation uh, has been around since 1800, so it's more than 100 years old. Um, during the, the Asian financial crisis, uh, the price was at 85 pesos per share. Okay. However, nine years later in 2007, the price went up to 430 pesos. Okay. So, yung, kumbaga, yung pera mo lumago five times in, in nine, over nine years. Okay. So, then it went down again in 2009 to 160 pesos. And then nine years later, again, just about last year, nag-1,050 siya. So your money, again, if you bought it at 160, lumago siya ng 6.5 times over nine years. So, kumbaga, blue chips like Ayala, they're already recession tested. Alam mo na kahit bumagsak ang market, market, magka-recession ngayon, babawi at babawi rin siya because it is a stable company. Now, what's my good news to you now? Ngayon po, we're again in a financial crisis. So, it's a COVID-19 crisis. What will you do now? This is similar to your 85 and 160 pesos uh, scenarios. So, will you buy now? But don't expect that to be able to double your money next year or one or two years. You may expect, like the past, you may expect five or nine years more bago lumaki yung pera mo. So, but the point is, if you don't have, if you don't need the money anytime soon, this is really a good time to buy. This only happens once in a decade. So I really encourage everyone to consider investing in blue chip names um, in this time. Okay? Now, we said na yung mga uh, magagandang bagay about blue chip stocks. Now, I want to discuss also some misconceptions okay, about blue chip stocks. Number one is that blue chips are expensive. So, uh, most of the time when someone asks me, magkano ba yung stock na yan? Or let's say SM. Ah, 808 ngayon. Ang sagot, ha? Ang mahal naman. Uh, but the thing is, stocks are not really valued based on peso amounts. Um, let's compare it. Let's say Wilcon Depot. I'm not saying Wilcon is a bad stock. Wilcon is also a good stock. So just for comparison, tignan natin yung presyo nitong dalawang stock na to. So SM is 808. Wilcon Depot or Depot for the British people is 15 pesos. Sino kaya ang mas expensive sa dalawang to? Um, if you're gonna look at the peso amount, you would think, ah, SM, mahal. But really, when investing in stocks, you have to look at your potential gain. So let's say you have 50,000 pesos and you invest it in SM and Wilcon Depot each. So ang potential gains based on cons consensus estimate, si SM would give you a potential gain of 22%, whereas si Wilcon, 9%. So in peso amounts, um, si SM pwede kang kumita ng 11,000 pesos while kay Wilcon, 4,500. So meaning, when investing in stocks, you always have to look at the percentages. Hindi porket 500 pesos per share, ibig sabihin mahal na siya. Hindi porket 10 pesos per share, ibig sabihin mura siya. Okay? You have to look at your potential gain. Now, again, next question, I'm sure. Paano ko naman malalaman yung potential gain na yun? So, there are analysts in stock brokerages. So, um, in First Metro, you can look at uh, these reports in the research tab. Ito pala, I, for, I almost forgot to mention that you have to consider owning a quality stock for a long time versus making a quick buck on a low-quality company. Kumbaga, buy quality. Okay? So, even if um, mataas yung share price, 
um, ng isang blue chip na blue chip stocks but if you're gonna hold it for a long time yung returns nyo over the long term might uh, benefit you more compared to parang churning yung mga smaller stocks so yon so again I go I go back to the um, reports so an easy way to check the potential profit of a stock is logging in to your first MetroSec account go to FM research FMS reports and all reports you will see the consensus corner so, so this is a weekly report every Friday lumalabas at makikita niyo yung mga different uh, stocks at ano yung potential profit and loss pati yung consensus rating so these stocks kaya siya kinalda consensus ito yung naka-publish sa market okay so not really calls ng first metro sec but all the other analysts in the country. So for you, let's say, let's look at, sino ba? Oh, si SM. Ayan, si SM at the bottom part. So in May 15, ang price niya nasa 801, ang potential profit loss niya nasa 22%. So ang consensus rating, sabi ng maraming brokers, hold muna, don't, don't sell, or don't even buy it right now, parang ganon. So that was May 15. So if you're looking at positioning your investments on a weekly basis, you can take a look at this uh, research report. Okay? So next, uh, another misconception um, for blue chip names is that blue chips are 100% sure. Okay? So in America, marami ng blue chip stocks ang na bankrupt. So just some examples would be Kodak, di ba? Kodakan tayo, pero... Um, after the, uh, around 2009, 2010, 2010 nag siya ng bankruptcy, diba? um, GM, General Motors, and Lehman Brothers, which actually uh, caused the 2009 financial crisis. So here in the Philippines, wala naman pa tayong ganun ka-extreme na na-bankrupt yung blue chip names. But there are a lot of um, incidents na biglang bumagsak yung stock price. So, just two examples would be PLDT and Jollibee. So, for PLDT, back in 2014, ang price niya nasa 3,300. Uh, but two years later, bumagsak siya um, to 1,300. So, negative 61%. So, kung baga, kung meron kang 100,000 invested sa Jollibee ng 2014, Two years later, ang pera mo nasa 40,000 pesos na lang in market value. How would you feel kung ikaw yon? Paanong nangyari kay PLDT at that time? Tinamaan siya ng competition. Okay? So, um, ay, globe, lumakas ang globe. So, bumaba yung kanyang sales. Another example, a recent one would be Jollibee. So, at the height of uh, Jollibee, it went as high as 320. March 2019, so just last year. However, just a few months later, bumaba siya to 192. Bakit? Kasi na-highlight na, na yung mga questionable, yung questionable acquisition niya ng coffee bean and tea leaves. Tea leaves. Kasi nga, almost, uh, pa, almost bankrupt na yung company and yet binili ni Jollibee ng uh, mahal. So, because of that negative sentiments, bumagsak yung stock price ni Jollibee. So, what, what we're saying here is, um, tao lang naman ang mga nagmamanage niyan. So, pwede rin magtamali. So, even if they're blue chip stocks, you still have to choose the right companies. Okay? Now, um, last misconception is that you have to invest in a lot of blue chip stocks. So, um, bakit hindi ito maganda? Baka sabihin mo, oh, index, I'll invest in all 30. Okay? Uh, medyo hindi rin yun advisable kasi not all stocks will move upward at the same time. Baka nag-invest ka dun sa 30, yung iba loss, yung iba gain, na offset lang yung gains mo. So, sayang. Um, madidilute yung gains mo. And uh, a big uh, disadvantage of that is that it's difficult to manage. Imagine, Imaginin mo ang haba-haba ng portfolio list mo. Hindi mo alam kung uh, kailangan mo na palang ibenta to kasi nawala na siya sa index or something. So, it's difficult to manage. 
what we would recommend is for you to just keep a handful of blue chip stocks for the diversification. Okay. Uh, similarly, uh, we don't recommend you to go all in in just one stock. So, you know, I really, really, really believe in uh, SM. So you'll you'll put all your money in SM. Delikado din po yon, kasi nga sabi nga natin, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Kahit napakalaking kumpanya na yan, it's still managed by people. It's still um, exposed to uh, different fluctuations in the market. So, hindi natin alam. So, there is still nothing sure in the stock market. So, ne never go all in in just one stock. Okay? So, um, now that you know the reasons and some misconceptions on blue chip stocks, we want to give you some ideas. So, for first row securities, we believe that these are the top 10 blue chip stocks that you can invest in during this crisis. Okay? And oh, we'll give you some reasons why as well. So, um, number one, or actually our number one stock pick would be URC, Universal Robina Corporation. So, they are the makers of uh, Chippy, C2, Nips, and my favorite, Cheese, cheese Girls. So, Jack and Jill, sa kanila yon. So, this is managed by Gokong Wei, the Gokong Wei family. Um, they have international presence in Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, China, and Malaysia. Uh, why do we like this stock? Because even the government tagged it as an essential industry, food. So, uh, we believe that URC would, be, would benefit a lot in this crisis kasi lahat nag-hoard ng food eh. Diba? Nag, nag, uh, nagsa-stock up on food. So, it may be good for you to invest in URC at this time. Another good stock that we think is RRHI or Robinson's Retail Holdings. Sila yung holding company ng uh, True Value, the Robinson Smalls, and they have drug stores like PGP, the Generics Pharmacy, Kay Echo, South Star Drug, and um, Mini Stop. Uh, mini stop na convenience stores. So we like RRHI kasi diversified yung kanyang retail stores. Um, so at hindi lang siya limited sa malls. Um, because of its drug stores on convenience stores, uh, continues pa rin yung kita niya even with the shutdown of the malls. And recently, um, around, around December, I think, it also acquired Rustans. So um, it's poised for long-term growth kasi ngayon nasa middle income siya. So by acquiring Rustans, it's tapping the high, higher income bracket. So we think that it would be a good addition to RRHI's portfolio. And when the business resumes, ngayon nga, nakikita na natin, biglang nag-flop yung mga tao sa malls, di ba? So there is pent-up demand. And uh, when business resumes, uh, tataas din yung kanilang uh, kita. So lahat ng losses nila, they will be able to recoup that eventually. Another good stock would be SM or SM Investments Corporation. Sila yung holding company ng BDO, China Bank, and SM Prime. SM Prime is uh, the condo and the mall segment of SM. It's one of the largest conglomerates in the Philippines today. And it's very strong, high in cash yan. If you know someone renting a space in SM, diba, they charge per square foot. Diba? So, ang laki ng kita ng SM. And we believe that this crisis will only be a temporary drop for them. And it's poised to recover big. Tataas din siya eventually because of its strong financials. High in cash ang SM. Um, it also has investments in banking, BDO, retail, SM, and properties nga. And we believe na because of the requirements, diba? Uh, after the ECQ, magbe-benefit ang SM. And the good thing about it now is that around this time, the SM stock is about 35% lower than its previous high. So yung pinakamataas na share price niya, if you buy it now, you're actually getting the stock at 35% off. Diba? So naka-sale price siya. So that is a good time to buy the SM stock. Uh, another good stock would be Robinson's Land Corporation or RLC. 
Sila yung nagmamanage ng mga subdivisions, Robinson's Homes, Robinson's Malls, and recently, they have offices, Robinson's offices. Um, just like SM, right now, RLC is at 50% off from its highest price. So if you buy it now, you're actually getting it at a discount, kumbaga. And uh, most of the malls of Robinson's are located outside Metro Manila. So every time I go to the provinces, diba, nakaka kahit, kahit ata sa butuan, diba, malayo pero may Robinson's. So it's a good thing kasi even with the lockdown in Metro Manila, tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung kita ni Robinson's Land. And uh, uh, we believe na yung kanyang Chengdu, China project, it has a big property in China. Um, now that business uh, has resumed in China, ma-realize ma, ma, ma niya na yung profits niya from that investment. Okay? Another stock would be SMPH, SM Prime Holdings. Sila rin, other than SM, sila rin ang may-ari ng Walter Mart. Okay? Um, si Walter Mart, um, it has a digital platform. You can actually order online. It has delivery. So, buhay siya, even with the lockdown. And it is, uh, SM Prime is a market leader in, in the middle income segment. So, uh, Si SM Prime, actually, yung mga condos niya, around 50% are owned by OFWs. So, I think most of you out there own an SM condo. Um, and then, around 20% are owned by foreigners. So, ano siya? Um, strong yung kanyang uh, client base. It also has malls in Philippines and China. So, ngayon, affected siya. Um, but when business resumes, we believe that because of the pent-up demand, papabawi rin niya yung kanyang losses. And again, like the other big names, it's now at 30% off from its higher price. Okay, So it is a good stock. It's a good blue chip stock. And if you intend to hold it long term, this is a good time to buy it now. Another favorite is Ayala Land. So Ali. So, it has Ayala Malls. Actually, BGC, Bonifacio Global City, is managed by Ayala Land. It also has their lower income bracket segment, yung Avida. And then, they have hotels like Seda and the El Nido Resorts. They are, what we know, of course, is the market leader in luxury properties. When we say Ayala Land, medyo high-end ang naiisip natin. And uh, not to be discriminatory, pero the rich has more idle money now. Kasi hindi sila makapag-overseas trips. Hindi sila makabili ng Louis Vuitton, the bag nila. So they have a lot of uh, extra money now. And what will they do with that extra money? Most probably, they will buy properties. Okay, so we think that Ayala Land will benefit from that. And uh, it's a good thing also that they have limited malls. A lot of their income are more, are more on the buildings rather than malls. Kaya hindi sila masyadong affected ng recession na to. And a good thing about Ayala also is, is, that, is that it pays out regular dividends, no matter how small. Okay? Next stock, Pure Gold. Okay. So, Pure Gold is also the owner of SNR and Budget Lane. So, if you, if you notice, these are names that you really are familiar with, right? So, Pure Gold, si Bossing Vic, di ba? si Aling Puring. Uh, a good thing about Pure Gold is that they have stand-alone stores. Hindi sila connected sa mga malls. So, even if the malls were closed, ang Pure Gold bukas. Actually, every time I pass by the Pure Gold here in our area, laging blockbuster ang pila. Diba? So, talagang pinupuntahan siya. And like we said, people are piling up their groceries, kaya lalong tumataas yung kanilang uh, sales. So, it will benefit from uh, house stockpiling groceries, and it has a very strong cash position. So, meaning, kapag maraming cash yung kumpanya, it can most, uh, it can pay its debt, yung mga suppliers niya, and it can uh, use their cash para to keep them afloat during this recession. That's why Pure Gold is one of our top picks then. Another one would be BDO. We find ways. Diba? So BDO is owned by the SM Group, the C family. And if you look at their um, 
income, their financials, consistent yung taas ng presyo niya. Always in billion. I think around 25 to 30 billion net income per year in the last five years. So consistent na lumalaki siya. So, and after the ECQ, ngayon kasi naka, diba, naka-defer yung mga loan payments. But after ECQ, uh, we foresee that more people would get loans for their businesses and for their other needs. So, tataas yung loan income ng PDO. And uh, banks, yun nga, banks will likely benefit during the rehabilitation and recovery period after this crisis. So, while the stock is down now, this is a good time to buy. Uh, another favorite would be Ayala, Ayala Stocks, AC. So we know na sila yung holding companies, sila may are ng BPI, Manila Water, Ayala Land, Globe, and they have smaller businesses like AC Industrials, uh, Energy, Health, and IMI, Microelectronics. So medyo diversified yung kanilang portfolio. We like Ayala because... It's one of the oldest conglomerates in the Philippines. Kanina, pinakita natin, recession-tested siya. And uh, it has existed since 1834, but was actually just incorporated in 1968. And we expect that uh, uh, their banking and telecoms business would greatly benefit from this crisis. Right now, I'm sure you're, you're using your internet and your phone more Diba? Than before, kasi nasa bahay lang tayo. So, tataas ang kita niya from their telecoms and banking business. Last stock that we like would be JG Summit, oh, JGS. Sila ang may-ari ng Universal Robina, Robinson's Land, and they also have stakes in PLDT and Meralco. Um, and also Cebu Pacific. We like JGS because they're involved in food, consumer, financials, and utilities. So these are the, the industries that would benefit during this crisis. And they also have presence in Philippines, Singapore, and China. Um, it's one of the index heavyweights. 5% of the PSEI um, is JG Summit. So when foreigners start buying the Philippine basket again, uh, makikinabang si JG Summit with that foreign money. Um, yun nga lang, there's a slight drag because of Cebu Pacific. We know that airlines are closed now. Um, so there are even talks na uh, baka mag-layoff ng mga employees. So expect that there would be lower earnings from Cebu Pacific. Uh, but nonetheless, we feel that JTS um, is still a good stock to buy because uh, of its other businesses like URC and Robinsons. Okay, so... Again, just to review, why do we invest in blue chip stocks? Number one, because it's monitored by the PSE. Number two, it generally pays dividends, so it gives you additional income, stable income. Number three, it can be sold anytime, so the money, you can always sell it online. Number four, they're rel relatively stable and secure because they're big companies, they're t recession tested. They can very well endure this crisis or another financial crisis for that matter. And I want to add a fifth reason because these are companies that you yourself know and you use. Kung baga familiar ka. So the more you use these products, the more you use these companies, if you are an investor of that company, in turn, ikaw rin kumikita. So these are the reasons why you should consider investing in blue chip stocks. So now that you know blue chip stocks and you have uh, some more or less solid buy ideas, what do you need to do now? Siyempre, you have to start. So like I said, yeah, this time only happens once in a decade. So if you have the money that, and you wouldn't need it for the next five years, start buying good blue chip stocks now. If you want to start, just make sure that you have a TIN number for OFW's passport or your visa or OFW card. Sign three times on paper. Take a picture. Proof of your registered address. It can be foreign or local. 
and the proof of your account number. Usually, the screenshot of your online banking account would do. And right now, we have a promo specifically for OFWs. If you invest um, one hundred, uh, sorry, ten thousand pesos in any stock, okay, for every ten thousand, you get one hundred pesos. So if you invest fifty thousand, uh, you get five hundred pesos, de ba? As investment credit. So you can use that again to buy more stocks or mutual funds. And you can do that. We're extending it. Now it's up to June 30. So do take this time. You still have a month to go, more than a month to go. Invite your OFW friends. Invest now. Sabi nga, when there's blood in the streets, it is the right time to buy. So this is that time. Just make sure that you are prepared um, that you have enough knowledge and that this is the money that you wouldn't need for the next five years or more. So with that, if you have more questions, you can definitely reach out to us. Our email address is ofwdesk at firstmetrosec.com.ph. And if you like this content or you want to know more, please like or subscribe to our social media channels in Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram and YouTube channel.